Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, this channel is all about my journey throughout CRNA school. So today's video is actually gonna be non-CRNA related. I actually built some greenhouses for my plants because my cat kept knocking them off of the windowsill. So I thought, why not you know, document the process of building these cabinets so in case you maybe want to build a cabinet for yourself. Otherwise, if you guys don't want to watch it, that's not a problem. I'm making it very clear this is not CRNA related. This is totally planty related, but obviously these are some of my hobbies that I'm doing on this, like, you know, this journey throughout CRNA school while being able to maintain my sanity. So this uh, project came to me from a couple of YouTube videos that I had seen. Um, so I wanted to build some greenhouse cabinets um, to put some propagations that I have of plants um, that I was just having in water on the windowsill that my cap kept knocking down so there's water everywhere. Um, but yeah, I had only a small space to be able to put um, this cabinet. So I decided to get two Ikea Bagaboo cabinets and um, I built one for, you know, the left side and one for the right side. Um, you know, I had to drill that hole that everyone talks about and I'll document the process throughout so you can see what I'm talking about. I'll link all the um, products that I use in the description if you're interested in building a cabinet for yourself. This was a really fun project and it took several days to build but more so because I was impatient and I was only being able, I was only able to build on certain days you know that I didn't have to study so I did have to put it off for a few days a few weeks sometimes so um, that and I was waiting for a few other products um, you know if I hit little hiccups along the way I'll document that. I'll explain that while going through the process but um, it was really fun and I'll show you the finished product um, at the end of this video otherwise let's just get into the nitty-gritty <laughs> Okay, so first I started to uh, follow the instructions based on the IKEA manual and it said to add these little feet to the bottom of the support beams, I guess they are, I don't know what they are, but anyway, so I added these and then I was going to follow the instructions because I really wanted to make sure that where I placed the hole that I was drilling for the cables was in the right place because I had seen multiple YouTube videos where they didn't have the hole in the right place and then they, they ended up having to wire everything through the front. So I was being very careful and uh, following the instructions um, up until the point where I needed to add the bottom. So I added, um, so we added the top just so we can see where the door was gonna go. And then that's where I was able to decide how to um, put the, when, when we put the bottom, it was to decide where to put the hole. So now I'm gonna stand, that we're gonna stand up the, the cabinet now so we can mark it. Um, so yeah, the door was on one side, so I followed like my idea where I wanted one hole on the right and one hole on the left. So this one was for the cabinet that was going to be sitting on the left. So the hole was going to be closer to the power outlet. Um, so yeah, I was just being very diligent on where I wanted that hole to be. It took forever to decide how to do it. Uh, the second cabinet was much easier, but yeah, we're going to mark the hole and then drill the hole. I will mention that the drill bit that we initially used wasn't made for metal, so we had to go out and buy um, a drill bit for metal. And then um, the grommet that I had purchased to run the cables through was a little too big, so we ended up having to drill the hole again, but I'll get to that in a second. So yeah, we drilled the hole. And then um, I decided to clean up the mess just so that none of the metal shavings were gonna be anywhere where the dogs or the cats can step on, because they were all over, all over us during this project, so. I made sure to uh, clean up all the metal shavings, uh, really shake off that towel that had the metal. And then the second cabinet was much easier. We knew exactly where the, the door was going to be, so we just went straight into it. Um, but yeah, I did say that the drill, the hole was too small, so we had to drill two holes, uh, two bigger holes in the cabinet um, in order to get the grommet to fit. I could have probably ordered a smaller grommet, but I thought I was probably going to be opening a a can of worms I didn't want to you know dive into like if the grommet was a little too small then it was gonna slide right through the hole that we had made so I just was like you know what I'll just find the right drill bit for this grommet that I had and I didn't have to wait for it any longer and the hardware store was really right across the street from my house so it was just a matter of having to figure it out.
it wasn't as easy as it looked. <laughs> it was definitely a little hard. <laughs> now we got to the process of actually putting the cabinet together. Um, I wanted to uh, put the sides on so that I could measure out how much uh, plexiglass I would need because I was going to have to seal the edges. The This Bagaboo cabinet, um, the sides are kind of like a locker um, with like a mesh. So I, I didn't want it to be open because then obviously all the humidity and moisture that the plants were going to need were going to slide right out of the hole. So I wanted to put the the sides on so we can measure out where the plexiglass would go we were still waiting for it from amazon so that's one of the reasons why we had to pause um in this build then I decided to break up some of the white of the cabinet since it was completely white <laughs> to add a wallpaper and I ordered it from Amazon I'll link it in the description but yeah so the back panel um, I wanted to add the wallpaper before we clipped it into place um, yeah it was a pretty seamless um, application process um, so as you can see the difference one is you know stark white so I didn't want I didn't want that <laughs> So then I did the repeat process for the second one, um, the second back paneling of the second cabinet uh, with the same wallpaper. Just It was like, I guess once you cut it, it's just a different pattern, um, but pretty much the same. Now I went on to add the doors. I didn't like the handle that was provided, so I went out and bought a handle to match actually the kitchen cabinets. Um, but yeah, so I put the door on and put the handle and then um, that was it for a while. We were still waiting on the plexiglass to arrive so that we can put it on. And then, like I said, the grommet was a little too big for the hole, so we had a I bought a bigger drill bit and then um, we had to kind of do a concoction with some wood to get the pilot hole to go through. It was a little bit of a process and we did scratch up the metal a little bit but it's okay in the long run they still look fine. I kind of painted it with a little bit of nail polish um, to cover up the scratches because it was kind of hard once the hole's already been established but I just needed the hole to be just slightly bigger. So yeah. This is the finished product with the grommet in place. I can't even tell that there are scratches. Then uh, the plexiglass finally came and I cut them to size. I used these um, quilting mats and then the quilting rotary cutter and I cut it out. And then we added uh, the plexiglass to the cabinet with some liquid nails. I was a little disappointed in the color, but um, they do hold the plexiglass like <laughs> that's not going anywhere. And I really wanted to make a good seal with the plexiglass because even still the humidity wasn't high enough so I had to buy a humidifier and I had to put some weather stripping um, just to get it up to 60%. And yep, yeah, this is the finished product. I haven't added the plants in this one. I have a picture where I added them. I can put it in to this video so you can see. But pretty much, yeah, that's it for this video. I added some grow lights, some fans, a humidifier. I made these shelves out of uh, closet made shelving. I just cut them with some wire cutters and put it in so that the 
it wouldn't be just a glass cabinet. Oh, I'm sorry, glass shelves. So that's it for this video, guys. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. I'm sorry that it wasn't CRNA related, but I'm not sorry because it was awesome and fun all at the same time. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.